our project is titled Juxtaposing Reality. So we kind of wanted to explore this idea of like expanding and challenging and complicating 2D and 3D realities and see what the outcome would be. And um, our project basically consists of two parts. Uh, in the first part, we review some current artwork and effort um, under this theme of juxtaposing reality. And we discover and reach out to um, the creators of four projects that we're gonna present in a minute. And all of them actually responded to us, um, which we were really happy about. And we conducted interviews either through email or through Zoom. Um, and we asked questions along the line of like, what um, was the process of creating these photos uh, and what were their goals and motivation behind their projects. And as a second part of the project, we actually created our own art pieces, which we are also going to show later in this presentation. So this first artist that we discovered and reached out to, uh, her name is Chino Otsuka and Otsuka, and um, she is a visual artist born in Tokyo, Japan, and now works and lives in London. Um, her project is called Imagine Finding Me. And basically in this project, as you can see in this picture, um, it's, it's actually not a picture of an adult woman and a girl, but it was the adult Chino herself um, and a younger, like the younger her. So she basically superimposed herself onto this old images to create the illusion that she is hanging out with her younger self. Um, so we thought this really aligned well with our theme because she is exploring her own past to juxtaposing these two realities. And um, like these are really, really amazing work. Like I, when I first saw this, I had no idea that this was like digitally manipulated. Um, and the artist herself said that the digital process becomes a tool, almost like a time machine, as I'm embarking on the journey to where I once belonged, and at the same time becoming a tourist in my own history. And lastly, we reached out to Mike Kohia and Raymond Booty. Um, only Raymond responded, but um, basically Mike Kohia uh, is a person who uh, came up with the idea of doing Brown Then, Now and Forever, which was taking pictures of um, old pictures from the Brown archive and soup, like laying them on top of the actual site itself. And Mike, Mike is a visual storyteller and photojournalist that's ba who's based in Providence. And Raymond is a senior library specialist who's been working at Brown since 1989. And this picture is also cool because it's like, um, apparently the arm doesn't exist anymore. I, did, I, did, I didn't know that. I never really pay attention to the statue. I wonder what happened. <laughs> yeah, we collected photographs from our own personal albums. So this is us back back in the old days. Um, so we took pictures from our freshman, sophomore, and junior years, and we found those locations and went around campus to take pictures of those places again. Uh, uh, it's kind of the process yeah. we printed out uh, in the only color printer that we can access, which is in Craig Robinson. And we started at Fonz, walk around campus, and let's, so this is kind of, we're both graduating seniors and this original picture was, um, what's it called, Convoc convocation. So when we actually enter Venvico gates four years ago and um, now the door, the gate is closed and probably will be closed for another year. Um, but we kind of artificially opened the gates through overlaying this picture that we, when we enter um, Brown. And this is special because this is from Campus Dance 2019, which we will never get to have. But yeah, it's, it's okay. 